Typically, the structural engineer works, of course, with the architect. The architect is the arch technician, the, the guy in charge. Uh, the structural engineer does only the structure. He doesn't do elevators and, and plumbing and air conditioning and all the thousand other things that have to be done with a building. And his contribution can be from very minor to very major. Shells were not being done in the United States at all. Uh, and uh, I started seeing pictures of these buildings coming out of South America and uh, in Italy and Spain. And I thought, God, how do they do this? You know, these three-dimensional curved structures. The greatest of them all, in my opinion, was Nervi. And uh, so I started looking into it, and I found out that I couldn't find out how to design it, design them. I mean, nobody talked about it. In fact, I, I realized after many years of striving that uh, uh, a lot of them were, really didn't know how to design them. They were just doing it intuitively. And that was not satisfactory to an engineer. I needed to know a rational way of doing it. And that sent me back to school and sent me to studying. And it took me years and years of very hard intellectual work to find ways to do this. And, uh, uh, and then uh, when I finally did it, uh, I was one of the few guys in the country that had really made that much effort. And so I became a, a pioneer in it. The LAX theme building, the restaurant building at the airport, LA airport, it started out that all the buildings were to be shells. And I was the only guy around LA that really had any experience in shells. So they came to me for the engineering, the structural engineering. And this was three very big architectural firms, very well known. Uh, Pereira and Luckman, they were partners at that time, uh, Welton Beckett and Paul Williams. These architectural firms were shotgunned together. In other words, they didn't get together and say, let's go get the airport job. They were shotgunned together by the politicians of the airport. And uh, it was a very prestigious job. And, uh, uh, but they they really, they really didn't enjoy working with each other. And Pereira just took over the whole job, and it was designed entirely uh, under his jurisdiction and his creation. And I think the other guys were all perfectly happy to just stay away from it. We went down to the building department with our preliminary drawings, and the building department, with his hostility to new ideas at that time, uh, gave us very severe criticisms of trying to use shells in Los Angeles in an earthquake area. And to my surprise, when this happened, uh, Bill Pereira, uh, this is after we left the building department and came back to our offices, uh, said, well, I guess we can't do it. Uh, they don't really want us to. And I was stunned. I thought, you know, well, we go ahead and fight them. But he didn't want to, and it was his design. Uh, so they gave up the shells, and which meant that the main reason why I was chosen <laughs> no longer <laughs> made sense. Uh, but uh, I was signed up under contract by that time, and I'd spent a lot of time on it with these preliminaries. And so Pereira came up with an entirely different design, which is the current design. And uh, that was uh, approved by everybody. Everybody liked it uh, with the arches and all. And uh, so that is what I engineered. Well, among the professionals, uh, some thought it was kind of googie that there were aspects to it that really uh, weren't needed architecturally. Well, I mean, the arches above the deck. Uh, and others liked it. And then among laymen, I think it, 
uh, it attracted their attention. You know, they'd never seen anything like that. Who's ever seen a building like this before, you know? It was to be in the center, all right, but that was just so that it would be the center of attention. And of course, since then, it's become almost like the symbol of Los Angeles.